why should I be concerned about shoe care? Well, if you create a good shoe care ritual, not only will you prolong the life of your shoes, but you'll also keep them in good shape. This should begin from the very first time you try the shoes on in the store. Here at John Lobb, we have a selection of products designed to keep your shoes in perfect condition. Starting with the John Lobb shoe horn. This should always be used to protect the back of the shoe. The overshoe to protect from extreme weather conditions. A shoe tree designed to stretch the shoe back out and keep it in perfect shape. A range of creams and waxes in all colours to complement our leathers. And obviously we have a range of brushes and cloths designed to apply those creams and waxes. And finally laces if you find that yours should fray. What I'd like to do is invite you into the John Lobb workshop and demonstrate how we use these products. So starting with the John Lobb shoe tree, this should be inserted into the shoe after every wear. Just slot it in and you'll see that it packs it out and brings back the original shape. Before we go any further, it's worth sharing a couple of tips. If you've worn your shoes outside and they've become wet, never attempt to do any shoe care. Best thing to do is to place your shoe on its side, which will allow moisture to evaporate quickly. Never try to force dry them near a radiator they need to be left at room temperature. Another good tip is to never wear the same pair of shoes on consecutive days. Insert your shoe tree and allow the leather a chance to recover from the stresses of the day before. The first thing we want to do before we apply any products is make sure that it's clean. The first thing we'll do is take a hard bristled brush. We're gonna work our way all the way around the shoe paying particular attention to what we call the feather edge, where the sole joins the upper. So brushing in firm strokes, backwards and forwards, what we're looking to do is to remove any dust or debris from the previous day's wear. When we're happy that it's clean, we can start to apply a shoe cream. This is the most important product because this will hydrate the leather and help it to become supple and flex. So, with our welt brush, we take a small amount. We're going to work all the way around into that crease. The reason for doing this is to re-wax the thread that holds the sole to the shoe. So next we take our selvic cloth. We're now ready to apply our shoe cream to the rest of the upper. Never feel like you want to throw away a worn cloth. The more it's used, the better it performs. So wrapping it around your index finger, we take a small amount of cream and massage it into the leather. Personally, I like to start at the toe area and work my way back, as long as you pay particular attention to cover all the upper. Try to apply the cream in small concentric circles. This will ensure you get no streaking as you apply the cream. Pay particular attention to any areas where the shoe flexes because this is where the leather's most stressed. A handy tip when buying shoe cream is if you like the color of your shoes exactly as they are, always choose a shade of cream slightly lighter. If you want to enrich the color of your shoes, choose a shade slightly darker. Don't be frightened about how much cream you put on. Much like a skin moisturizer, the leather will only take in what it needs. Okay, with the cream applied, usually you'll leave this for five to 10 minutes to allow the cream to really penetrate into the fibers of the leather. So with our cream having had time to settle into the leather, we get our hard brush again, and this time what we're doing is just removing any residue that the leather no longer requires. And already you can start to see the glaze develop. If you were happy with how the shoes look at this stage, you could start to wear them straight away. But if you want your shoe to look more refined and more elegant, we can apply a shoe wax which will develop a shine, a patina, as we call it. So again, with our selvic cloth, find a nice clean area, and we can apply our shoe wax. Very much like the creaming process, we start at the toe and we apply the wax in small concentric circles. 
We don't take too much wax because what we want to do again is massage that into the leather. Never apply too much to the areas of the shoe where it flexes. What will happen is as the wax hardens, when it flexes again, the wax will actually break away. Apart from the advantage of having a shinier shoe, this will also offer some protection from water penetration. So slowly and meticulously work your way around the shoe. You need to be very patient. If a shoe hasn't been particularly well cared for, it can take five to six layers of wax to get a film to sit on the surface. What you'll see is the wax on the surface will begin to mist. What we do then is just take a dab of normal tap water and drop that onto the surface. And what this will do is just bring the paraffin in the wax to the surface and develop the shine. If you want a much shinier shoe, it's just a case of repeating the process of a little more wax and a little more water. The more layers of wax that you put on, the shinier your shoes will become. If you're happy with this level of shine, you can finish there. We'll again leave the wax for five to 10 minutes just to set and settle on the surface of the leather. The very finishing touch is to take our soft brush and just remove any excess wax that the leather doesn't need. And there you have it. You can see that this shoe has been restored to its former beauty. So eventually, but naturally, the leather on the sole and heel will wear, needing replacement. Here at John Lobb, we can offer the very best service to restore your shoes back to original condition. We use exactly the same materials as we do with a brand new pair. First of all, we'll give them a quick examination to make sure they're fit for repair. We'll insert the original last to make sure that there's no alteration to fit or comfort. The sole, heel and welt will be removed and obviously the new ones constructed. Finally, while in the workshop, we'll refinish the upper to bring it back to as near new condition as possible.